now let's have a quick look on the important points that we discussed during this lecture. This is the lecture in which we started the chapter carbon and its compounds. In this chapter, I have told you about the important element carbon and yes, this lecture involves the introduction to carbon. It has symbol C, its atomic number is 6 and the most abundant isotope of carbon has the atomic mass 12. Then I have told you that organic chemistry is the science that deals with carbon and its compound. And then we discussed about the occurrence of carbon. This carbon is present around us in a number of ways. It is present in the form of food, in the form of daily goods, as well as it is present in the form of different polymer and different articles. It is present in atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. In the form of minerals, it is also present and the form is carbonates and bicarbonates, as well as a number of chemicals which are present in our day-to-day -day life also involves carbon. Then I have told you that carbon is very much important and our body is also made up of carbon. Then we discussed about the next point that carbon has a number of allotropes and allotropes are basically the different physical forms of elements. And if you are talking about carbon, it has two type of allotropes, one is amorphous, other is the crystalline. If you are talking about the amorphous forms, we have the examples of coal, charcoal, coke, etc. And if we are talking about the crystalline allotropes of carbon, we have the three main crystalline allotropes. Diamond, graphite and the fullerene, these are the three main crystalline allotropes. We discussed the properties of diamond also. Diamond is very hard, it has high melting point and it has the nature to conduct heat. But it will not conduct electricity, we discussed about that because it does not have the free electron. This diamond due to its shiny appearance is used in jewelry making and due to its sharp edges it is used for the cutting of granite, cutting of marble as well as glass. Then we discussed the next allotrope that was graphite. This graphite has sheet like structure and there is one free electron. That is why it is good conductor of electricity and heat. This graphite is soft and greasy that is why it is used for the lubrication and it is also used in pencil lead. Then I have told you about the fullerene. This fullerene is another allotrope of carbon. Fullerene has certain rings. It has the football like structure and this fullerene has the nature to increase the lubricating power of oils. The most common form of fullerene is Buckminster fullerene. So this was the whole about the today's lecture. See you in the next lecture. Till then take care. Bye bye.